Hello everyone. Uh, just wanted to start this video by saying this video that I'm posting today is from last week. You will have noticed that last week's was like two minutes long. Um, I had a lot of trouble posting the video last week. Uh, first try didn't work. Second try I thought it worked and I had a delayed publish time on it so that it would come out on Wednesday like it always does and it never showed up and I can't find it anywhere in my YouTube so it's gone. Uh, so I'm going to repost last week's video so the clip that was um, that showed up last week is also in this video so it'll look like a repeat and it is but uh, anyways that's um, what's going on and hopefully you enjoy the video hopefully I can get it uploaded I'm sitting in the back of my van with the tailgate up and this is my view and this is one of those spots that you hear other YouTubers talking about that they found and it's kind of private and they're not telling anybody. Well, I'm sorry, but I guess this is the kind of one that I'm doing too that I'm not telling anybody about because it's uh, crown land. It's not well known. It's just um, close to where one of my friends lives and she told me about it. And so I've been parked here and it's amazingly beautiful. You can see the mountains too. Second morning waking up in this beautiful spot by the river and because I've been here for two days and I've been editing videos and stuff I uh, I've run out of power so the Sun came out today which is also a bonus and so I've hooked up my solar panel hopefully that gives me enough charge to last me another day out here because I don't want to go anywhere just thought I'd give you a bigger picture of what this amazing crown land is like. It's just beautiful here. Okay, so this uh, video is just going to be so that you all understand how uh, how tight a minivan is for somebody who's in a wheelchair. Um, I'm going to get my salad out of the fridge so that I can have some supper. So, first, open the side door. Next, move the chair out. Oh, but there's a heater underneath it, which I haven't moved and I'm not going to move. <laughs> now that I've a space. This is my fridge right here. This is storage <laughs> on top of my fridge. Put it all back. All right, here we go. Shutter in. The ground is uneven and difficult to wheel around on, but even here, I made a coffee. 
This is more at the back side of my van. I still have a view even through the doors of my van all the way around. I just couldn't carry my coffee back to sit at the back of my van where I've been sitting where I have a view up and down the river. But even this is beautiful. It's really warm today. I'm still at the same spot. Because I love it here. Uh, I managed to get my hair washed, which is something that I always mean to video tape, but this ground is so uneven and I'm having such a hard time getting around on it uh, that trying to set up a camera somewhere to videotape this kind of thing is not happening. So maybe when I get to a flatter campsite it will be a little bit easier. I can, I did the dishes, I cleaned up my van. Tomorrow I'm going to go do some laundry and get some groceries and move on to another site. River. I don't expect it rages like this all the time, but holy, it's amazing. Well, I'm starting to feel even more settled. I'm just sitting here. It's the evening right now, and I'm uh, kind of thinking about how things are going. I've had a really nice day out by the Ashnola River Creek. I'm not sure what it is, whatever it is, it's raging. Um, it's spring and it's it's loud, like I can hear it. You probably can hear it in here too. It just, um, yeah, it's loud. But I'm just realizing that I'm getting way more comfortable at this whole lifestyle. I feel like I'm developing routines. I really need routines so that I'm not retracing my steps through soft gravel, trying to um, not get stuck in the gravel as I wheel around on it. And uh, so I'm developing routines, finding better places for stuff. Although for the most part where I have everything, it's working really well. So, uh, and I'm making sure that um, for charging things I have to, with my fridge, I have to make sure that the battery is always charged my Jackery. So when I'm staying at a place, like I'll be here three nights minimum, uh, probably longer, but I'm just uh, making sure that I put my solar panels out first thing and I put them away at night because that solar panel's too expensive. It's really safe around here, but it's too expensive to leave out there and you know have the odd um, person go through and think that they need it better than I do so I bring it in at night I leave my little table outside my little cook stove because if those go missing they can much more easily be replaced and they're a lot harder the table is a lot harder to put away than the solar panels are so anyways I guess I'm babbling I just wanted to say that um, I'm really getting into the groove of this it just is starting to feel really comfortable and I'm really enjoying it and I think I'm starting to get out of it what I all along had dreamed of and that is just being out in the country um, enjoying the sunshine the weather's not too hot yet but it's certainly warmed up and that is so much nicer than it was before so I think that's helped me to be able to think more clearly and and develop more routines because I'm not <laughs> always focused on keeping warm so anyways that's my little blurb for now.